What's going on everyone? Welcome to Brothers Bar. And I uh, just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update on the little trailer redesign per se. We're getting ready for the new season. So um, let me uh, show you what we're kind of working on and uh, see what you guys think. So first, uh, we had a bad battery because we're doing the 24 volt. So I'm going to re-put the new battery on, but uh, I made a boo-boo. This is uh, was hooked up to the positive side, and I kind of accidentally touched that on the negative side. So sparks flew everywhere. So now I'm going to, may have to put, make a whole new uh, wire for that, but I'll get to that here in a minute. The other thing we did is... We upgraded to, not really upgraded, I mean we found that used water tank. We had uh, two 55 gallon drums. Now we're going to go down to just the one and it's hard to see but right there it's 100 gallons. You can kind of see it right there, it's really faint. So, got our little shut off valve right there. So. Kind of see it should be about right in maybe about right there is where it'll shut off so just just right at a hundred and we got our two returns uh this one's the 5.5 gallon that's the eight gallon and water to our mixing manifold and then down here kind of did a so this is two inch tapered down to one inch wide it so this is all one inch this is one inch filter and one inch going all the way into the eight gallon per minute pump and then on the other side one inch tapered down to three quarter three quarter filter and that's going to the five and a half gallon so hopefully the concept would be being able to run both of these at the same time I'm not really for sure that we'll get the flow that we need with the plumbing so we do got shut off valves but if it doesn't work then I may end up changing it and try to run two inch as far out as I can but that's kind of what I'm working on now. Uh, we got our soap tanks right there, our SH tank right there, really no change. We do have to do some work. We got a hole right there that we found. So we got a hole in the floor. So we got a little bit of work to do, but I'm gonna start working on this and then I'll explain this once I get all this put together. So let me put this all together and. I'll show you what I did. Alright, I got the two batteries hooked up. So, how to get this pump to draw 24 volts. You need two batteries, two 12, in, 12 volt batteries. And what you need to do, so back there is where I hook up to the pump. But to make these work, is you got to take... A wire and this is 10 gauge so that's what I'm using 10 gauge wire hook it to the positive and follow it and then hook it to the negative of the other battery so that makes it where it draws 24 volts instead of 12 volts and then whenever you're hooking up the pump instead of Hooking it up, you know, positive, negative, you hook up to positive, to the positive side of, of this one where you hook the negative, and then you hook the negative to the negative where you hook the positive. So you flip flop it. See if that makes any more sense. Positive to negative, one wire, hooking the pump. Use positive, negative. 
So that'll get you 24 volts. And then this other stuff, this cable, these cables is for the battery charger. This, these little cables and these little cables is for, they go right there and that is for reader so we can see what percentage of battery life we have and what we're pulling off of each battery. This is not two batteries, this is off each. I may put a third one so I could see the voltage out of running both, but I wanted to run each one just to see if one, like this one, is only giving us 11.9, 58%, so I need to charge it. This one's 68%, could use a charge, and that's a brand new battery, which is weird. We just bought this battery yesterday. This one we've had. So, hope that makes sense. Kind of trying to hold my phone steady in case you guys need to take a screenshot or anything because I know it's kind of confusing, but it's kind of simple. If you just rotate your batteries separate, basically you're hooking the positive to the negative with one wire and then hooking up directly to the pump, use the positive side and the negative side. So now I'm gonna get my extension cord. I got my port right here. So I'm gonna hook these up. I'm gonna just go ahead and shut these off. I'll just kind of hold the button and boom to go off. I'm hook this up, make sure the battery charger works. And we do have some light, so we 12 volt and boom they're charging I don't know if you can see it but and there they charge so I changed just to this mold mode. That one stayed there. And this one is charging. It's charging the newer battery. So it should charge a lot faster. Because it's like I said, it's brand new. Um, this one's the older one. It's going to this battery. So it's probably going to take a little bit longer, but let it do its thing. Hope that uh, helps you guys. And obviously, if you guys got questions, make sure you leave it in that comments section. Um, let me know what you think on the plumbing. I'm, I'm a little concerned if I'll be able to run an eight gallon and a five and a half at the same time with the plumbing. But I'm going to try it. Worst thing is I'm going to have to replace it, you know just what it is but uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up turn the bear up bell on and uh till next time later everyone